me because Jeff Jarrett, the founder, and this horse-faced bitch of a wife are coming in April to WrestleMania. Me, me. They did it! I just can't believe they did it! Of all the worthy people, dead or alive, that you could have put in to the WWE Hall of Fame, this was one of the people you chose? This was one of the people you decided to put in this time? And of all the years to do it, the year I was planning on going to WrestleMania! This is sick, cruel, and a twisted troll job by WWE! And I warned you! I warned you what this meant! If you did this, there was no turning back! And it is clear to me now that you wanted a war! Well, by God, you got a war! How appropriate is it, after all those years of Memphis mid-card piece of crap malaise, all those years of boring the bricks off of so many wrestling fans, that double J, J E double F, J A double R E double T, oh, shut the fuck up, you F only suck, slap nuts, Jeff fucking Jarrett finally comes back to the WWE Hall of Fame. How fucking ridiculous is this? It's like the guy can't help but get out of Kurt Angle's sloppy seconds. Kurt Angle, bang Karen, married her first. So then, of course, Jeff's got to sit there and make her his horse face, bitch of a wife. Then, when Kurt Angle goes into the Hall of Fame, who else, lo and behold, would you know, is going to be the next guy to follow in line? It's, of course, Jeff fucking Jarrett. What's next? We're going to do a storyline on TV? Where Sasha Banks is fucking Jeff Jarrett's love child with Jacqueline? Give me a fucking break! How ridiculous is this? All the people alive, dead, that did far more for professional wrestling, far more for the WWE, and actually drew goddamn money that are on the outside looking in, as this scam artist, this mark for himself, the epitome of stupidity of professional wrestling that is Jeff fucking Jarrett! goes into the WWE Hall of Fame class in 2018. What an outrage! This is absolutely fucking ridiculous! He was so great with TNA that he started a company and he quickly ran it into the ground and Dixie Carter and her family had to fucking bail him out. And when you're in a place where Dixie Carter's got to bail you out, you know how much you absolutely suck all the years of trying to do all this hot garbage. Oh, look at me strut like Jackie Fargo. I do it better than Ric Flair. I do it better than Ric Flair. Oh, no, you don't sit your slap nuts ass down. Oh, look at me. I'm going to be NWA North American NWA champion, and nobody gives a shit. I'm going to go to WCW, be buddies with Vince Russo, so that way he'll push me to the fucking moon. And I still won't fucking draw when people talk about all the reasons WCW died. How come more people don't talk about Jeff fucking Jarrett? NWO 2000, like literally everything this guy touched absolutely sucks. Sucks. Sucks, 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 sucks. He sucks so bad that Vince McMahon once fired him on live TV as a shoot because he couldn't stand his ass. And now we're coming full circle. And he's coming back to WWE. He's going into the Hall of Fame. Think about how ridiculous this is. Jeff Jarrett is now going to be in two different professional wrestling Hall of Fames. The Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame. And for God's sakes, the WWE Hall of Fame. Who thinks of this shit? He's the first Bullet Club member to go into the goddamn Hall of Fame. For Christ's sakes, what's the problem here? And before Shirley... Some of you kiss-ass, wise-asses try to point out to me that Jeff Jarrett did a lot of good things for the wrestling business over the years. Bullshit! You'll bring up Coco Beware and Drew Carey being in the WWE Hall of Fame. What well, ding-dong, dumb dicks. At least Coco Beware actually drew some goddamn money. He actually became a household name during his time at WWF. And Drew Carey was at least a celebrity. Neither one of those things Jeff Jarrett ever has been or ever will fucking be. And I don't care if they fly in Chuck Norris especially to roundhouse superkick his bitch ass back down to Memphis 
It doesn't fucking matter. This is a joke. This is a travesty. What is WWE thinking? That you're going to get in on the ground floor in this fantastic multi-level marketing opportunity with that 24 karat gold bullshit? You're bringing this pyramid schemer into your fucking circle, into your fucking Hall of Fame. What in the fuck is going on here? The same guy that started not one, but two different wrestling promotions, maybe three, as nothing more than vanity projects, so that way he can continue to book himself on the top because he's that much for a mark for himself, and he's that much of a piece of fucking shit. And to top it all off, this guy that was lame in the Four Horsemen, lame on his own, lame in the NWO, basically lame every fucking where he's ever been with everything he's ever fucking done, we're going to reward that by putting him in the Hall of Fame. This is the biggest crock of bullshit that I've seen in a long, long time. And I warned you, WWE, I told you, if you did this, this meant war. And let it be known, here and now, if you think I've been hard on the WWE before, you haven't seen shit. Because I'm coming. I'm bringing the heat. I'm bringing the fury, the noise, and the goddamn mother loving cock sucking funk. The Schleg Daddy is pissed. And when the Schleg Daddy is pissed, he takes no prisoners, no retreats, no surrender. Do not throw rocks at a man who's got a bazooka, bitches. And most of all, beyond all else, for creating multiple companies just to be his own vanity project, for allowing Vince Russo to continue to screw up the wrestling business for so many years, all the guys he refused to put over, all the guys that he brought in just so they could put him over, all the lame-ass stories he was in, all the lame-ass matches he was having, for fucking sitting there and getting Kurt Angle sloppy seconds both in wife and in Hall of Fame life. Fuck Jeff Jarrett! Oh, and one more thing, WWE. You just recently financed this bubbling, stumbling, drunk's rehab stint. And I've got news for you. If you think that this is going to be a way for you to recoup your money, there's just one problem with that. 10,000 guitars broken, zero dimes drawn. Jeff Jarrett doesn't draw money. He never has. He never fucking will. So consider that a sunken cost. And you most certainly are not getting any of that fucking money back. Because why? Because Jeff Jarrett absolutely sucks. And most importantly, once again, for the emphasis of all that are watching now, fuck Jeff Jarrett!